Hey there Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot report for the week of February 26th, 2024. So your weather and traffic, essentially. On the 27th and the 28th, we've got Mercury, the Sun, and Saturn conjunct in your sign, which is all about full stops and turnarounds. Now, this is likely going to be a tough couple of days for everybody. And this is going to be showing up in a situation where a personal project, something that you have been either managing alone, leading alone, or something that you created or co-created yourself once upon a time, likely something that is a bit old, is coming up to be revealed to be no good. And we have to see what is going on with either the road this is on or what's in the foundations or who's involved here. It's likely that we are catching something that is actually very dangerous that's been hiding in the you know background, or we may be finding out about something that is, has taken us down a bad road or where we have been committed to the wrong agenda or to the wrong setup. And luckily, even though it's frustrating, this full stop and turnaround gives us the opportunity to hit the brakes and bail. On the 29th, we've got Mercury in Pisces sextile to Jupiter in Taurus. So Mercury in your sign, making a helpful link up to Jupiter in your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, allies, as well as collaborations and helpful third parties. And this is going to be all about swift setups and switches. And there is likely going to be a very promising development occurring in a collaboration or in a connection with an important ally or maybe some kind of professional or personal commitment that is going to set you up for some big wins now and down the road and maybe even speed up an important transition that you have been waiting to make. So that is what I have got for your astrology with the weather. Let's have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your tarot and the traffic. All right, Pisces, it's time to have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic this week. I'm just going to take our selenite here, which has been happily cleansing and clearing the cards. And so let's have a look and see what's in store for you. Let's just charge them up and have a look. All right, money, work and career, personal path and well-being irrespective of others, home and family, love and romance, friends and community, as well as your best course of action, advice, final thoughts, regarding the week. All right. So for your finances, you've got the seven of swords reversed, 
which is all about some unexpected good news, unexpected turnarounds, things coming back to you that were maybe once lost, misplaced, or sent in the wrong direction, however you want to look at that. This could also indicate unexpected good news from something small becoming all the more substantial, something that defies logic, something that may defy what you've expected or, or come to expect from a project, an investment, or something going on with your job. The Seven of Swords reverse could also indicate a few lucky breaks going on, especially when it comes to things that maybe you missed out on in the past for whatever reason, finally getting a chance to come to you or be realized. And you may even find out about an opportunity to recover some kind of lost money or something that was maybe, again, stolen or taken off the table in some way, depending on what's going on with you and your own personal story there. For your work life and career, you've got the Wheel of Fortune upright. And so the Wheel of Fortune is all about big wins, big breakthroughs, but also things that are kind of happening environmentally. Like this might even be a chance shift that is largely out of your control. A lot of the times with the Wheel of Fortune, we see a big score, something that does require us to let go of control of the situation or let go of control that we've been trying to maintain over something else if we want to take it on. This might require a deviation from maybe something that we've committed to for this month or even this year as far as a work or career plan. But with the Wheel of Fortune, again, it is something that is trending things to go in an upward and onward and, uh, again, very profitable, very successful way for you. This could be because of a development that just happens out of the blue, or this could be something that uh, has uh, deviated again from an old plan, but in a better way. For your personal path and well-being, irrespective of others, you've got the death card upright. And so this week, a lot of things are going to be closing up issues that have been maybe waiting to be closed or trending towards an end for a while. And that's the thing about the death card. You know, it's never a surprise. It's never something that, um, you know, just kind of hits you out of left field. These are things that probably have been showing signs of trending in this direction for weeks, even months, maybe even longer. However, with the death card, you are going to need to be ready to accept a lot of transitions that need to happen as well. Sometimes we might be trying to negotiate things or try to sandwich things or, or marry things or, or whatever that just can't really coexist in the same space, the same arrangement or the same reality when the card falls in this category. And so if you've been kind of in that stage, that bargaining, hag haggling, finagling phase, you might need to be ready to accept changes that are good for you or changes that are overdue getting finalized and, uh, you know, allow things to take their course because a lot of these things are probably going to be out of our control anyway. For your home, family, your living situation, uh, or anything relating to your home economy, you've got the Knight of Pentacles upright. And so the Knight of Pentacles is about a new commitment as well, something that may actually be getting taken on by you, uh, a relative or a friend of the family or a friend of yours. A lot of the times with the Knight of Pentacles, we see an ally stepping forward or coming closer to us or us being brought closer to them. This is likely somebody that you are going to be working with on a very important project or possibly something that is going to plant new roots for each of you. This is also going to be uh, probably a very helpful moment because there might be somebody hooking something up for you, something that you've been trying to pull off, but you kind of got to get on their horse, so to speak. You've got to get on uh, a different road in order to do it, and they're going to be helping you with that. They could be hooking you up even with things that could be helping you outside of your home and family life. But uh, again, there is going to be a bit of a we need more space, we need more time kind of moment uh, to work on this together and to work it in. For your 
love and romantic life, you've got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And so the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a heads up card. And once again, it's all about transitions. You know, this is about, okay, it's not happening right this second, but this is probably something that's going to come to pass within the next month or two. The Ten of Pentacles reversed doesn't have to be a bad thing. It just indicates, all right, where there's going to be a, a, a heads up moment that, you know, again, uh, the way the layout of our world as we know it, it's not going to be the same. Now, this could be something that is happening because of something that we've already been trying to make happen. You know, maybe you and a partner or a spouse or a partner intended or a love interest have already been kind of you know, getting the wheels turning on this, you know, maybe it's a plan for a move, maybe it's a plan to change something about a, a family matter as it relates to our immediate household, maybe this is news of a partner getting ready to change jobs or, you know, finding out about a lucky break, this could be about you doing that too, sometimes the Ten of Pentacles reverse can show up where we just need to be ready to, again, let a transition happen so that everyone can be better off. This could also indicate something coming with a bit of a bonus, something coming in to help cushion a transition, which was a, a theme of the astrology for the full moon in uh, Virgo for that special video I put out. But be careful, you know, with the, te with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this is a heads up so we can get prepared. And with that death card upright, again, as we see right next door or two doors down in the terms of the spread, uh, it might be something that just has to be ready to, to happen. For those of you who are single or available to new people, this is likely something that's going to work in your favor. Uh, a transition is coming. Uh, this could be you meeting somebody or, or getting closer to somebody. Or this may be something uh, changing as far as news is concerned where a distance or logistical or, or maybe a financial or material challenge that's been impeding a relationship from going forward or getting started is starting to change. For your... Social life, friends and relatives, you've got the Knight of Swords reversed. And with the Knight of Swords reversed, you might be in for some difficult news when it comes to coming to terms with who a person really is, how they're behaving, how they're acting, how they're playing up. Uh, I'm getting a sense of something getting revealed where you might be noticing a person's rash actions or hateful actions or controlling actions are starting to um, create problems that you didn't know were there or maybe reveal problems you didn't know were there. The Knight of Swords reverse can also indicate, uh, it could be, if it's not you having to deal with this, a friend or someone you care about may be kind of getting targeted by somebody like this or be fending off somebody like this, and you maybe, you know, get called in to help them out. For your spiritual advice, the final thoughts regarding this week, You've got the Knight of Wands upright. This week, go faster. This is all about moving faster, aiming forward. Everything that's coming up here for you is going to be saying, look, you've got to be okay with um, maybe picking up the pace with things that you have been taking slowly and too carefully. Not saying be reckless. I'm not saying do anything stupid or, or put yourself in harm's way. But with the Knight of Wands, see where you've been being too meek, too timid, too passive, and need to be a bit more bold when it comes to certain actions that are going to be profiting you and taking good care of you and yours. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.